Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNuck1, and welcome back to part 16 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and we are going for a purity victory. Last time, we made excellent peace with the PAC. So glad we've got peace. Um, we were able to get up to 7 purity here, and we are going for autonomous systems so we can grab ourselves the master control and get our energy per turn skyrocketing. Um, Meanwhile, we're building tons and tons of hollow matrixes. We got our culture up to 100 per turn. We basically doubled it in one episode. That was crazy. And we have another two to launch. So the question is where to launch these guys. Um, I think wherever we can get the most culture per city is the best. Um, hold on. I know there's a way to view this. Isn't there... Click this, maybe? There you go. So we can see our culture return in every single city. Magan, insanely high. Janali doing relatively well. We have one Hollow Matrix there already. Um, Tabo and Ayan are best bets. So where over Tabo? We can deploy smack dab in the middle here. Um, and that would get the most tiles. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm not opposed to that. Should be very good. We can probably replace this generator with another farm. Want to get growth going even more. So let's go ahead and do that. Drop into Tabo. Boom. Another 10 or so culture right into Tabo. And that's just so excellent. Didn't we want to buy more petroleum? Yes, we did. In three or so turns, we'll try to buy more petroleum um, so we can fund maybe another hollow matrix or two. Uh, but as is, we're actually relatively poor, so we might want to stay on the cheap side until we get our master control up. Meanwhile, Hollow Matrix done in Magan. Uh, what to build here? We could probably swap back to research focus. Or, you know what? I don't think it matters right now. So maybe we want to swap to agricultural focus. Right, that's not a bad idea. Yep, get ourselves growing as fast as we can. Make sure we're locked into all the good food tiles. Yeah, we are. Yep, we are. That's good. And in... We also have a hollow matrix here, so where to put this guy? We could deploy it over Ayan. That's not a bad idea. The only problem that is I'm seeing this is most of Ayan's stuff is relatively spread out. Um, we could probably... I don't know, it's very spread out. If we have these two farms up, this is going to be a very good plot right here. So we can probably drop it there, and in the long term it'll be fine. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, they actually have a weather controller there, so we can't do that plot of land. How about something like this one? Or maybe we want to go down here towards these hills and our academies. Um, that's not a bad spot. That gets three, four automatically with the city. Is that better than any alternative? This one right here actually does one, two, three, four, five. So that's not bad. Uh, you know what? That looks like the best option to me. Let's go ahead and, once again, weather controller in the way. Looks like this is probably our only option in Aeon, so let's do that. Another 10 culture up. That's just so impressive to me. And let's see if we can swap Aeon out from research development to agricultural. Does that make a difference? Yes, by a few turns. And with this farm done, hopefully the even more turns now. Let's lock in, for sure. 8 turns until 12. If we can get to 12, we get that extra health, thanks to uh, community medicine in knowledge, which is extra good. I'm going to blow my nose real quick. <coughs> ah. Sweet. And over here in Janala, we finish the Hollow Matrix. So in one turn, we actually have more production in Janala than we do in Magan. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for Master Control in Magan. Until then, let's go ahead and grab Agricultural Development in Janali as well. We'll swap over just in one turn. Well, what happened? Oh boy. Well, apparently we've declared war on Kavitha. Uh, oh, through our ally Hutama. Hutama declared war. And that cut our, some of our deals off. When provided with adequate data and field of view, anyone can predict the future. So that gives us the uh, master control right there. Excellent for mid and late game energy. Uh, she, okay, so Kavitha's way out here, so she doesn't really pose a threat to us, even though she's, I think, winning. Uh, she's got 9 harmony. That's really high. Um, that doesn't really bother me. I don't think we can do peace with her for like 10 turns. Oh, hello, Franco-Iberian colonist. 
So that's interesting. Um, I don't really mind if they settle. I'm not going to war them. But if we can buy out these tiles, that would be better. Let's go ahead and see if we can buy these tiles. Yeah, alright. That's, that's what I'll do. I'll buy these tiles and force... Can I buy this? Why? There we go. Thank you. Alright, so there we go. If the franco Iberians want to settle right there, I'll let them. I don't care if they have a little coastal city that has nothing on it. And we finished the petrochemical plant in Tabo. So now, we have to choose what we want to do here. Um, we'll probably get more workers out, and that would really help in Xerxi. Meanwhile, in Janelle here, let's swap over to the Master Control. Five turns. Oh, wow. If we do this focus, still five turns. Let's go ahead and focus something like food. Or maybe science. No, it cuts the growth off. Let's go ahead and do food. Colony plant done in Bongani, growing excellently here now. So, what to choose now? If we go with the network, we get more science and cultures. You know, if you plant, we get more energy. It's probably smart, and we really need the energy right now. We're going negative 17. So, let's go ahead and do that. As for research, with the master control available to us now, we should get ourselves out of this debt we're in as soon as we build it. Uh, but in the meantime, we have, to, we have to kind of progress with our standard issue plans. Um, our covert ops, we have them kind of synced right here to give us science in four turns. So, we have three turns of throwaway science. Um, I'm thinking something we might want to do is go ahead and grab the ability to make titanium battle suits early rather than later. Um, so we can get them out and then have them ready to upgrade when we do hit affinity level 10. In the meantime, we did finish our farm here. Excellent. Let's see if we can't shift over this way. It's a shame. These tiles have so much culture on them. We really need to grow here. We can probably swap over once we hit 12. Alright, so this guy's finally done his mag rail, getting a connection at Xerxes. So let's go ahead and have this guy uh, replace this here generator with a farm. Because more food and damn, like, we'll be able to work that extra culture with just more food on it. Alright, worker here is done. Uh, he's on a planes. You know, let's go ahead and get him over here, working on a second academy for Tabo. Those academies are really running our economy to the ground, but you know what? We need to get them. The science is just so important. We don't have quite the extra lodestone yet, but we should be getting it relatively soon. Yep, one turn. Alright, let's get this guy. Build that. And just like that, we now have floatstone. See if we can get any international bidders to sell us some petroleum. How are you, buddy? Could you sell us three of these guys? Oh, he's got 21 floatstone. Holy heck. You know, he could supply us with... A what? Does he even like us? No? He doesn't like us? Eh. Maybe Suzanne? Suzanne, we've done... Hola. Nope, How she's just I got titanium you? and nothing else. Ability, how are you doing? Bonjour, She's got petrol, you? not enough. Uh, it's actually not a bad deal. Le we can get someone else to sell us one. How about Hutamer? You got any petrol, Good buddy? You, you do. Again. He doesn't want to trade anything to us either. Jeez. What did we do to piss you what off? Can we get one? Oh, jeez. Maybe since we don't have any energy per turn, and it won't let us spend anything. But if we offer Xenomass, will he really turn that down? Maybe like two Xenomass? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, Hell yes. yeah, he'll accept. Okay, Suzanne, didn't you have two? Hola. No, it wasn't Suzanne. You? It was Elodie, I believe, that had two. Bonjour, mon ami. Yeah, there we go. That's that's sweet, yeah. Le oh yeah. Se fonctionne quand on con just like that, Magan can swap over to building yet one more Hollow Matrix. I think we'll be good. We're covering most of our territory at this point. The important stuff. Um, extra culture out of Bungani wouldn't be bad, but it, it, it's not like we can actually do much more with Ayan. Eh, we could do a little bit, but not much. Alright, so this plane's here. We want to build an academy. And on this floodplain, another farm. 
The more farms we get, the better for this place. I think we pushed off farms for a little too long. Our Lavender Sea is done. It's time to grab that Thorn Reactor. We are going negative in energy. Pretty freaking negative. Negative 22. Please, Master Control, save our butts. I apologize for that, but, you know, sometimes you get sick. Boom, there we go. Dossier delivered, covert agent, free, and here. Alright, sweet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reassign these guys. Uh, you just finished. Just go home. And as for these guys, in one more turn, we're going to swap out to whatever we want that free uh, science points for. As for this worker what to do with you. I'm thinking probably help improve their C. And here we finished a worker, and you know what? Let's send him up to help their as well. That CMS well looks like he could use a worker on it. And Tabo is done with its worker, so what to grab now? Uh, we could probably go for yet another worker, and then we'll have the master control very soon to be done. And that will turn our economy around. So with this farm done, it's high time to start building a magrail out in that direction. Magrail here done. Go ahead and try to see if we can't connect these two. This is going pretty well. Not sure what this Frank Arbier and Collins is trying to do. He's looking for a spot to settle and not finding it. Alright, Reggie's just gonna insult us. Alright, Reggie, I see how it is. I see how it is, buddy. Did I start my timer this episode? Oh, I didn't. Uh, jeez, let's kinda estimate this. I think we've gone for at least 15 minutes. Alright, so this worker's done with the floatstone. Very good. And let's see if we can't get him out to help with other stuff. No, one thing we could do is go ahead and build on... Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this guy. Go ahead and build a mine up there. So for this worker, he just finished a farm for Tabo. Let's go ahead and build yet another one. And over here, this worker could probably help improve this desert fungus and give yet more food for Bongani. Build a Xenomass well, and what to do with you, sir? Get you out here to build a farm. Oh, shit. No, that was a mess up. Uh, can we swap... I need to swap techs out to nanotech. There we go. Hopefully the covert ops hits. Yep. Yeah, all right. They're gonna shoot on a sea dragon. I I really hope I get this free science towards nanotech. It would really help. What are they shooting? Who are they fighting right now? They're fighting someone. Is that a... Yeah, the battle suit's just engaging. Took him out. And we stole science! Look at that! Right from Tiangong? That is a lot of science. That's gonna get us to nanotech just that much faster. Alright, culture developed. Um, we're done with knowledge for now, I think. I think it's time to go ahead and go towards Magna Santi. So we can grab the interdependence network right now. It's going to help all of our cities out a considerable amount. And then go down this path towards social investment down to Magna Santi. Oh, that is sweet. I'm glad that turned out the best. Alright, so let's go ahead and just do another steel science operation. And then hopefully in one turn we also get science. That's the one I need to get science from in order to get a free... Uh, another free spy, which would be oh so good. So let's go ahead and grab another free worker. These guys are going to be completely free very shortly. And what to do with you? Um, it's not a bad option to go ahead and build another farm for Magan. Build me a plantation and get me a mine. We have a lot of workers, but in one turn we're going to get master control, and our economy is just going to just exponentially just fly into the air. Yeah, that's Poly Australia at war with uh, the PAC right there. 
Unfortunately, yeah, the PAC got access to this float zone before we did. I didn't really know it was there until we moved this worker up. Huh. Oh well. Well, you learn... You, you win some and you lose some. You also learn quite a bit as you go. The easiest way to understand social systems is to implement them in code. The best way to optimize social systems is to let the code change the world. Boom, there you go. Yes, please. Thank you, ma'am. We went from negative 20 energy to positive 20. That is a 40 energy wonder. And unfortunately, we didn't get the steel science. Uh, which, you know, we can try it for it again. Um, I thought we would get it. Oh, uh, well. I mean, we did get that free spy from Juan Lai, so that's nice. So we can try again. Um... But unfortunately, we didn't get it that round. Were we detected? Undetected. So we failed. But okay. Alright, we can try again. And then here in Magan, we finished the Hollow Matrix. So now it is time to swap into Agricultural Development and get ourselves rolling again. That is so much culture. That's just nutty. Alright, so with this Hollow Matrix, where do we want to launch it? Uh, Bongani is growing rap pretty rapidly, I'd say. Um, but is there any better candidate? No, Bongani looks to be pretty good, but which tiles have the highest density for us? Here would give us four. Um, you know, we could probably lock into this food tile here. Oh, but it changes from the tubers. Uh, jeez. We lock in there as well. Okay, so that loses a little bit of something, but... Alright, so that's not a bad option right there. We'll go ahead and launch. Get our culture return up to 139. That is just utterly insane amounts of culture. We're going to be getting a free virtue every single 8 turns from now on. And get this guy rolling on another farm. And he is done on the Xenomass well. Pretty good, pretty good. Get our guy rolling here to give us a mine. Finally, we got Master Control done here, so it is high time to go ahead and grab ourselves. Uh, you know, we could probably do social development and do pretty well. Um, let's see how that would affect culture return. Up to 150, that's nuts. What happens if we click here? 42, wow. Yeah, I'm doing that. Give me that culture. What happens if we do the same thing here? 160, wow. I think everything's locked, so it wouldn't even change that much. But what? That's so good. Um, and Magana has 15 people, so that's good. I'm happy where that is. And Thorium Reactor done in Xerxes. We can go ahead and grab the Xenofuel Plant if we want more energy. Which I'm not opposed to. Uh, but for the time being, we don't totally need it. Um, what to do in Xerxes? We have two local health. We have four people there now. So we could probably get the Pharma Lab, and when we do grow up to five, it'll just be good. I'm a little disappointed on that. Uh, lack of free science. I was hoping we could get that much closer to nanotech. Okay, uh, are you willing to give us anything? No, she just wants fair peace. Hello That's fine points. with me. This is looking pretty good, though. Okay, so... We want to probably swap over from nanotech because that's not totally what we want, or we could stay on it. Uh, we want—I wanted to do that affinity ten rush though. So let's go ahead and go towards servo machinery and see if we can't get down to mobile LEV. Right, so the worker here is done. Uh, we can probably just keep building these guys at this point. They're completely free. They don't cost us a penny. Just keep building us some farms. You, what to do with you? Uh, yeah. No, go up there and build a mine. Xenofuel plant done in Bongani. Time to go ahead and grab... You know, I like the network. Then again, the alien preserve is good for culture, so let's do that. As for you, you know, we actually probably don't need that many more workers, so we can probably swap over to social development and get yet higher culture. We now have... What is this? 176 culture per turn. That's absolutely bonkers crazy. Alright, so he's going to insult us. 
So we should probably be on the lookout for possible Polystralian invasions, but I don't know. We do have these really solid troops here now, so I'm really not that afraid. She wants to buy her Xenomass up. Uh, okay. Alright, uh, how about without that? Is that good? Oh yeah, she did it without it. Sweet. He wants that for free. Hmm. Nah. Not today, buddy. We can sell this out to Kavitha for quite a pretty penny. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> sell to the lowest bidder. What's Cauldron at Yon? Doing pretty good. 20 culture per turn. If we continue to grow, we hit, finally hit 12. Let's lock into this new guy. And... Actually, we probably don't need to lock in. We can probably start unlocking. Let's reset, actually. And see where this deploys our guys. Alright, pretty solidly around here. This region. And, yeah, that's actually really good. I like that it's working all of the oil wells now. Locking in there, we guarantee the culture access. And just like that... Our culture is up 179. So, so solid. I was hoping we would get our free... What do you call it? Our free uh, tech from the Institute sooner, rather than later. We've been waiting a while now. She wants to buy up even more. Alright, I'm not going to stop you. Give us all your energy. And she just got all the techs required for the cognitive link. That's not good. What affinity level does she have? 11, alright, so she's not quite at the 13 she needs for the Mind Flower, but, you know, she's making progress, so that's not good. Alrighty. Worker here, all ready to build what we need him to build, so let's go ahead and grab a farm. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we definitely want to lock in to our academies. But it looks like the time is up, guys. So thank you guys for watching, and until next time, see you guys later. Make sure to subscribe, because again, we're releasing an episode every single day. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this excellent mid-game. We're doing oh so well. Look at that culture, 181 per turn. That is impressive to me. All right, take care, guys. See you guys next time.